My name is Chris Diamantakos. I'm the owner here at Clear Cut Fitness in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm going to go through a lower body foam rolling series with you. So, what you got to know is we foam roll for two reasons before a, work, a workout. Reason number one, to promote blood flow to the area to help get the muscles warm for the workout. And number two, to help increase the range of motion. So if you're tight anywhere, and a lot of people do have tight hips, uh, foam rolling beforehand can help increase uh, the range of motion a little bit. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the series muscle group by muscle group, all right? I like to start off right at the top of the hips and the hip flexor. So you wanna feel your pelvic bone right here popping out and go just below that. So what I like to do is lay on here, get my leg right up so I can help roll through. Nice and controlled range of motion, nice and controlled tempo. And you wanna work around the muscle too. You don't have to just stay on one spot. So I'm gonna move a little more to the inside and you can move a little more to the outside as well. Next, you roll the roller down a little bit further so that you can get all the quads from the top of the knee to the bottom of the hip. If you need to readjust yourself at any time, by all means, go for it. I'm not gonna spend a full 30, 45 seconds each time just so we can run through it a little quicker. After that, I like to simply stay on the same leg, flip over, and get the glute. So the glute is a huge muscle, so you're gonna be rolling around and finding different uh, trigger points throughout. And if you really wanna get a stretch and target some of the deeper muscles, you can also cross your leg over It does compress on, uh, I believe, your sciatic nerve a little bit once you find that really tight spot, but it also gets the deeper muscles around it, so you'll really feel that one. Next up, we simply slide this down to target the hamstrings. The simple way is just like this. From above, just above the knee to the bottom of the uh, hips there, right underneath your glute. If you want to put more pressure, if you don't feel much, cross the leg over. Next, we target the calves. For this, we simply move the roller down to the calves like this. You can do the same thing here. If you want to put more pressure, you cross. And notice that I'm doing the same thing with the, with the cats as I am with everything else where I'm rolling around and targeting different aspects of the muscle group. Now I'm moving my foot a little to the outside. Now the middle. And the inside. All right. Last but not least, we're going to get the adductors, the inside of the thigh, get in this position here, and slow and control, roll from the top of the knee, all the way to the inside of the thigh, and if you want to target one area more than the other, by all means, go for it. Right now, I'm targeting a little bit more near the groin, but if you're really tight in the knee, you might want to spend a little more time here. So just a quick recap, we do that for both sides, about 30 to 45 seconds each one, or you can even count 10 to 15 reps um, up and down, that usually is about the same, and uh, you can even do up to two sets of this. I, I usually just stick to one, but if you're really tight and, you, and cold and you really need to warm up, you can go for another round. 